Hey guys, hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. A Let's Play that I have been very excited for. I have had this game for about three weeks now, and this is the first time I have popped it into the drive. This will be completely blind, obviously, and uh, I never played the original. But people keep saying how amazing this is and how much of a masterpiece this game is. So, let's find out. Let's go. And that is some beautiful artwork, if I say so myself. Absolutely stunning. I don't know what this game's like in terms of story. I've heard a few things here and there. We are, of course, playing this on the PlayStation Pro. Uh, apparently, there are some graphics options. We can have a swanky 4K mode. Or we can have a silky smooth 60 frames a second mode. To me, there is only one realistic choice. 30 frames a second at 4K or 1080p 60 frames a second. There's only one choice. Enable photo mode, graphics mode, performance. Yes, prefer frame rate over everything else. We can't have HDR because my TV is too old. Uh, we are... We do you have a home cinema, however? We're going to be using headphones. Limit volume during loud moments. Well, that might not be a terrible idea, but uh, we won't for now. Um, photo mode. Uh, pressing down activates photo mode during gameplay. That's something that we've seen before. This, of course, is another amazing remaster by Bluepoint Games. Getting quite the name for themselves, actually. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. Adjust brightness until only one sigil is clearly visible. Uh, okay. Doesn't really do that much, if I'm honest. But sure. Whatever a game. The game automatically saves your progress. Holy shit, guys. We are truly living in the world of tomorrow.
Well, <clears throat> that was pretty incredible. From the art style to the music. You know, if you had said to me that we are now uh, viewing a demo of a reboot of Twilight Priest Princess, eh? almost fumbled the name, uh, on the Switch 36, I would believe you. That was stunning. I'm guessing there's going to be no dialogue or anything. Let's go. Yep, 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 yep. We already saw this. So let's go. This game is gorgeous, man. And 60 frames a second as well. Uh, yep, normal's fine. I literally am not overly sure what to expect. I guess we're going on a journey. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah! <laughs> 
おしてはいるわ、ウキウライクは。ウジスヒアズウ、ズドコ。ワジノルデキオウティユラ。アイウエンシス。アウユリ、ユエイズン。ドルミ、キュート。イズキュンク。イドゥセオロドユイエリク。
to bring back her soul from the dead. I don't know whether that's his sister, his his lover, his friend, you know, whatever. We, we don't know. Um, but in return, um, for his service to these gods, they've promised to help. Okay, that's kind of cool and interesting. Now, I don't know what this game has in relation to collectibles or and whoa oh man oh wow guys I want to explore the thing is I've heard that this game is kind of like an empty experience there's nothing really here which if true is absolutely tragic. I'm getting that sense of wonder that I first got when I stepped out onto Hyrule, Hyrule Fields back in uh, back in the N64 days. Right. So, aggro. Press triangle. Well, that's strange. Yeah. That's really strange. Alright. I think I got this. I think I got this. Oh, that's really strange the way we're kind of not even centered in the camera there. Right, so this. Ah, so we've got a map. Oh my. Items? What items do we have? Mask of strength, mask of power. Oh. Time attack. Alright, not really sure what these are about. Buffs, maybe? Or are they just trophies? Okay, that's kind of strange. Oops, so that's jump. Okay, so the horse controls are a little bit funky. But I'm sure we will uh, get used to them. It's kind of strange, it's like triangle to start moving. That is really bizarre. So, where are we going? We're going this way, I guess. Right, come on, our faithful steed. Let's ride. What's this over here? Is this anything? Yeah, yeah really not a fan of how the horse control or the camera. Oh, the camera is straight up horrible it's not really connected to the horse I mean only extremely loosely yeah. that's really bizarre so what do we have here uh, question mark do I have to climb this, I suppose? Can we climb? R2 to grab onto places. Right. That's... Oh, okay. I'm guessing the vines? Yeah, got ya. While holding. Yep, 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 yep. I got your game. Yeah, the, the controls have uh, aged more than the game has so far. They're certainly going to take some getting used to. What the hell is wrong with you, boy? Climb those vines. We're actually very good at climbing the vines. It's getting up you're not that good at. What does that beeping mean? Oh, do we have like a stamina? Climbing thing, kind of like in the new Zelda. So I guess we've got stamina, okay. That's fine. So how do we climb up here then? I would have thought that we could climb up here. Now we're at a weird angle. Um game. 
Okay, I know not what angle we... Yeah, that looks like we should be able to just climb up. It's going to be one of these games where it tells you very, very little and you have to experiment and find everything out yourself, which I actually really enjoy, the idea of that. So... Okay, so X... I don't know. I pushed X and triangle at a similar time there. Could have been either of those. Still, yes, to adjust the camera. That's certainly needed because the camera is a little bit arse so far. So I wonder if there are enemies in this game. Okay, so you have to use R2 for like, like everything. No auto grip or anything like that. Curious. Alright. Um, come on, buddy. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Well done, my friend. I shall call you George. You look like George. Well done, George. Until we find out your name, you're now called George, sir. I hope this pleases you. Alright. Not bad, George. Look at that, though. Actually looks very, very Zelda-esque. It really does. And that's not even a bad thing. It would be nice if um, another company would make a Zelda-type game in a similar format to Zelda, just, you know, more adult. Because I like Zelda. But sometimes you want that kind of experience... Ooh. With a much darker adult undertone. Oh, wow. Hey there, uh, buddy. What, uh, what you doing? Switch weapons? We have multiple weapons now. Oh. Oh my god, we have bows. Um... This is going to get worse before it gets better, my friend. I'm not sure how we have much of a chance against Mr. McClubbin here. He does have a rather mighty fine club, though. Now, I don't know how we shoot this guy. Or even why we would want to use our bow, for that matter. Hey, pal. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run up to you. Hold up thy sword to reflect lines. Oh, oh, hell. Ah, okay. It's actually attacking us. That's not very nice. It doesn't know our intent just yet. Oh, okay. Uh, paint the target. Cool. So do we have to, um, hang on, right, uh, no, no, you big ugly bastard, right, okay, so now you're painted, how do we shoot at, oh, hello, oh dear, so we know it's weak spot, I guess, if you could so call it that, is there, ah, there we go, oh wow, this fella has a lot of health. As you'd expect. Well, George, we have our work cut out for us, sir. Now, Mr. Hammerbro, if you would kindly stand still, this would certainly be a lot easier. You know, I'm not sure that's actually working. I'm not sure that's working without the magic of our sword. Trouble is, this doesn't really uh, last very long. You can highlight its weak spot like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Attack its leg in order to cut a pass. Yes, thank you. I think we worked that out about an hour ago. Now, our concern is causing enough damage. Man, our bow sucks. 
Unless there is more to this. Nope. I don't think there is, you know, guys. I think we're just going to pepper this poor Colossi, which, let's be fair, has done nothing to us. Can we actually use... Oh, okay. What's holding on? Raise your sword. Ah, much better. Can we... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hold. Hold, young George. Hold. There we go. The longer you accumulate power in your attack. I missed that. Well, sorry there, hammer bro. Couldn't have happened to a nicer chap. Oh, hello. Oh, I see. Oh. Whoops, this is not the most pleasant place to be hanging on to, but never mind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Running out of grab. Oh dear, this is gonna get worse before it gets better. Come on, get onto the rather convenient shelf there. Whew. No, you, George, you fool. George, you are an utter tool belt. You did that on purpose. Don't say that you didn't. Alright. Sorry, Mr. Hammer Bro. I'm going to have to do this to you. I take no pleasure in doing this, sir. I really don't. Now, you can believe me or not. Alright, there we go. Come on, George. While we're young, buddy. Whilst we have stamina as well. Let's not forget the stamina. George, I don't know what area of physics you've studied, but that was strange. Uh, okay, let's have a breather. Have a nice long breather. There we go. Up the back, just like Mama taught us. Uh, George, thank you, buddy. All right. All right, you big hairy gorilla. Oh, dear. Please don't do that. Please. Thank you. Ooh. What a lovely bold spot you have. Gee, I wonder what would happen if some annoying git decided to put a sword through it. Come here, you big ugly ape. There we are. Ooh, that looks really painful. I'm really not taking any pleasure doing this, my, my good sir. You are a rather majestic beast. This hurts me just as much as it hurts you, I can assure you. Damn. Are any brains in here at all? It's not looking like it. George! Go for the head meat. I think... Oh, I see. Ah, I see. I see how that works. Heave! There we go. That's going for maximum damage. Let's finish off that donkey. Valley of the Wanderer. Is that what the Colossus was called? The Wanderer? I kid, I kid. I know that's us. Well. I can't help feel slightly sorry for that Colossus. I mean, he was just wandering around, having a good old time. And here comes us, being a bit of a dick. Start stabbing him in the brain bone. Trying to get his lucky charms. Ah, so we end up here every time. Okay. Why do I get the the feeling that these gods or whatever are a little bit evil? Just a hunch. But that was awesome. That was so much fun, man. Also, our sword is badass. 
That thing looks awesome. Wow. Yeah. Can't help shake that feeling that we're working for the bad guys here. Seaside Cave. Hmm. So, looks like we're going to the seaside next. Woohoo! I like the seaside. Well, well, well. Okay, I think I'm getting... Uh, the gist of this game, or at least the, the base mechanics down, and um, yeah, I'm liking what I see. Right guys, I'm going to leave this game here. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you're going to enjoy this, uh, this game with me. When we come back, to the seaside. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, till next time.